Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about ISRO 2018 recruitment that is for the recruitment of scientist engineer in electronics, mechanical and computer science department. Uh, this video we would be discussing about the eligibility criteria, important date, salary, number of vacancies and the selection process. Okay. Uh, before proceeding, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, let's move on to the first thing that is uh, the number of vacancies. Uh, for electronics there are 32 vacancies and uh, 32 vacancies out of which uh, there are 4 vacancies for backlog uh, for OH and 5 vacancies for HH okay these are for PWD candidates okay uh, for mechanical there are 45 vacancies and there are for 4 uh, and 1 vacancy that is 5 vacancies for PWD candidates in computer science there are 29 vacancies okay and there are 3 uh, vacancies for the PWD candidates these are all about the vacancies uh, in uh, for scientist engineer post okay let's move on to the next that is the eligibility criteria uh, the eligibility criteria is you have to be a BTEC, B, uh, B BTEC and equivalent qualification. Okay, in equivalent qualification, MCA would not be considered here. Okay, uh, that is BE BTEC in first class. Okay, with the aggregate of 65% of marks, or if you have a CGPA system, it should be 6.84 minimum out of 10. Okay, that is the eligibility criteria for filling the form. Okay, and if uh, you are passing out this year, that is in 2017-18, uh, you are also eligible to apply it. But your, your your degree would be should be available from 31st of August 2018. Your degree would should be in the in your hands. Okay, then you should also maintain the percentage of 65. That is the minimum eligibility criteria of marks that is 65 percent or 6.84 out of 10 uh, CGP. Okay, this is for all the eight semesters okay the qualification prescribed are the benchmark only that it, these are the minimum requirements okay uh, if you have 6.84 CGPA it doesn't mean that you would be eligible for written test okay there is some criteria for shortlisting for the written test let's see what are what is this based on the academic academic performance that is your CGPA or percentage okay and biodata Biodata it would contain uh, if you are experienced in something if you have done any internship in uh, some institution it would be there and initial screening will be con uh, conducted to shortlist candidates for written exam okay uh, you would be uh, filling up your forms and after filling up the forms there would be a screening initial screening would be there and only the selected candidates would be called for written test okay the written test would be on 22nd of April 2018 okay and it will be conducted in uh, 12 uh, 12 cities in india that is ahmedabad bangalore bhopal chandigarh chennai guwahati hyderabad kolkata lucknow mumbai new delhi and tiruvannamburam uh, you can select any one of these cities for the written exams okay and the call letters for the written test to the shortlisted uh, shortlisted candidates would be sent by email you would be uh, receiving your call letters in the email only and if you are shortlisted or not it would be uh, informed you through the email only okay it would be available to you in the second or third week of March 2018 okay that is if you have filled the examination uh, you are not eligible for written test okay you uh, you have to wait for initial screening and after that only you would be knowing that if you are eligible for written test or not okay the written test would be consist uh, consisting of eight, 80 objective type questions and all questions would be carrying equal marks they can be either two mark question or three mark question generally it is of two marks and they would be carrying 80 objective questions okay and after the written test interview would be there based on the performance in the written test okay a candidate will be shortlisted for interview written test is uh, not considered for selection you have uh, even if you have scored the highest marks in written test it is not included in the interview fine for selection final selection the mark is not included okay you have to score minimum 60 percent marks in the interview in order to be get selected okay and uh, uh, you would be notified about the venue of the interview also through mail only everything would be notified through mail only let's move to the next the age limit age limit is 35 years okay and if you are an ex-serviceman or person with uh, for PW, uh, pwd candidates and ex-serviceman uh, that is relaxation as per the government of rules okay so you have a written test which is followed by the interview okay for the written test also there would be initial screening after then you would be called for written test okay next pay and allowances uh, the selected uh, if you are selected as a scientist integer uh, sci sci sorry scientist engineer uh, you would be getting a basic pay of 56,000 100 per month 
okay and all the allowances would be there that is transport house rents everything would be there and uh, the employees uh, will be governed by the new pension scheme okay so apart from this the basic salary would be your 56100 per month okay next one is the next how to apply for this the uh, link has already been active it you can apply it from 31st january 2018 to 20 28th february 2018 in this website you can go to this link and in this link you can uh, see the link of scientist engineer and you can apply over here okay so thank you for watching this was all about the recruitment of scientist engineer please don't forget to subscribe